This might actually be the most devastatingly broken quarterback situation in the NFL. The Jets' defense is ferocious, menacing, and one of the most lights-out units in the league, but Zach Wilson absolutely crumbles under pressure so intensely, with such immense repercussions, the intricacy of his struggles can only be revealed through the cracks and crevices on his film. The more I peeled back the layers on that film and analyzed each of the ingredients of his game and why and how he's struggling so mightily, I can only show you how shockingly bad this situation is. Wilson is ungodly awful against pressure, he creates his own pressure, struggles reading defensive coverages, and the coaching has been a massive issue too. But before we dive deeper into the pits of the Jets' hell, I want to thank this week's sponsor, Roman. When it comes to intimacy, we all want to feel confident, but for way more guys than you might think, erectile dysfunction gets in the way. There are a lot of different forms of ED, and surprisingly, 52% of men experience it in some way. People go to get the care they need all the time to get better, so why should struggles with erectile dysfunction be any different? Roman is discreet, there are no boring waiting rooms, no awkward doctor's appointments, co-pays, insurance hassles, none of it. Roman connects you with a licensed medical provider online, and boom, you're ready to rock. Hard. Roman's ED treatments are safe, effective, FDA approved, and used by millions of men. To try it, all you have to do is go to ro.co slash alexrollins today for 20% off your first order, if prescribed. When using my link, treatments start as low as $3.20, that's ro.co slash alexrollins. Alright, well, that was harder than I thought it'd be, so our first category is Wilson's struggle against pressure, and I'm not exaggerating when I say he's literally the worst in the league. When pressured, he has the league's lowest QB rating at 7.1. That is right, 7.1 out of 158.3, and his completion percentage is also horrendously bad at just 19.1. Playing under pressure has amplified the worst parts of his game and put them on display for the entire world to see. He's frantic, he's inaccurate, his footwork is a nightmare, and when he feels the pass rush closing in, his entire game goes down the toilet. Here the Jets have the perfect play call, a smash concept to the right, which is corner flat, with a post up the middle. Since the Dolphins are playing this too deep split safety zone coverage, all Wilson has to do is key this safety right here, and if he breaks outside with the corner route, like he does, Elijah Moore's post is attacking the wide open middle of the field. This is a play where you need to marry your pre-snap read of two high safeties with your ability to anticipate and trust that pre-snap read after the snap. But by holding on too long, the success rate for this play is lower than Zach not hitting your mom's DMs. From the tight angle, he starts to his right to look at Smash. We can see the key safety here, more on the left, and the safety he has to beat up top. When Wilson resets the post, he has to rip it before Moore comes out of his break, but when he feels D lineman rip through, he's way too sensitive and can't play on time within structure. He'll often create his own pressure by not playing within that necessary structure. He has the longest time to throw in the league when pressured at more than four seconds. So instead of going through quick, easy reads in the Jets' quick game series, he's panicking, making errant throws, or throwing the ball away, which is why his QB rating is so low. The Patriots' Week 8 matchup was some of the toughest film I've watched all season, where Belichick put on a masterclass of doing what he does best, taking away the first read. When Wilson motions out running back James Robinson and the safety comes down into the box, and the cornerback bumps out, this is pretty clearly a one-high zone coverage, meaning it's cover three zone. The Jets want Garrett Wilson on the weak side choice, one-on-one -on -one against the safety, but Belichick does his thing, takes away your first read. He pseudo brackets Wilson with the safety and hook linebacker, leaving Robinson wide open against the cover three corner. But Zach's feet are already going wild, so he creates pressure while running out of the pocket while looking at Robinson, which will always mess up your timing and make you late. His frantic feet not only create pressure, but also create bad throws. He can almost always get to at least his second read, but he's one of the worst checkdown passers in the game thanks to his poor fundamentals. Here the Pats are showing one high cover three zone, but this is a trap to fool Zach. The Jets are running a fade and a flat route to try and stretch out the curl flat defender, but the Pats rotate into cover two zone, which messes with his read. Now it doesn't matter if this defender is out leveraged since the corner isn't running deep, but instead of just going one, 
to three and checking the ball down to the underneath crosser that's wide open, he fades away since he has bad footwork and because he's scared of taking a hit. And without following through, the ball sails over his receiver's head. His footwork improved at times late last season, but I don't know what he was doing during the offseason because this year it's gotten worse and worse. He can't solve problems in the pocket because his footwork is pulling him away, and this leads to unnecessary pressure. This play stems from a successful play earlier in the game where the Patriots show what looks like one high man coverage, and the Jets have a decent call to counter and post wheel. But post snap, the Pats rotate into two high zone and get immediate pressure, so Zach rolls out of the pocket, the Patriots blow the coverage when Jalen Mills doesn't carry the wheel route, and we have what appears to be a successful play. But Zach learning to create offense outside the pocket when there's any sign of pressure whatsoever has led him to leave way too many plays on the field and has hurt the Jets' offense overall. Now the Patriots are showing more of a zone coverage look, with several defenders playing pretty far off, but now in fact do play cover one man against the same concept. Post wheel isn't the best against cover one man, we need somebody running away from a defender more, so the Jets add this backside dig. When Wilson drops back and gets the slightest whiff of pressure, instead of staying calm, which would allow the dig to develop, he panics, takes off running, the wheel also breaks off open, and this is more created pressure. These rotations were well schemed up, since the Patriots notice a tendency studying Wilson's film, he loves his flat routes, so they rotated coverages to mess with him. They are showing what I believe Wilson thinks is cover three sky weak, where they're playing cover three, but with a weak safety rotating down into the curl flats. So then, with this slant flat concept, Wilson would read this defender and throw to whichever guy he isn't covering. But they're actually playing cover three buzz strong, so now this defender becomes the read key. Instead of reading out the coverage and seeing that his slant, which is the primary read, is wide open, he immediately throws to the flats and blows one of the simplest reads in football. Speaking of simple reads, the Jets have incorporated some of the BYU offense that got Zach drafted two overall in the first place. But even that has led to created pressure and additionally conjured up some questions of poor coaching. They're running mesh, which is two crossers, a wheel route, and an over the ball route. And what you need to know about this concept is every coach in the nation teaches that the wheel route is the first read so the others have more time to develop. This is third and eight, the wheel is butt-ass naked wide open, you can see Zach looking right at the wheel, the two defenders even run into each other, it's perfect, but he doesn't take the layup. This creates pressure, and the offense looks dysfunctional. This might be on Zach, this definitely might be on the coaching, there have been a lot of different issues with their scheme, philosophy, and execution. Way too often guys aren't in the right spot, aren't doing their jobs, and while Zach has certainly regressed to a point of possibly no return, he hasn't been getting much help. This is the Patriots' trap pass concept that every team in the league runs, where they want to influence the linebacker to get him to jump up so they can sneak a tight end behind him. How do they do that? Well, linebackers are coached to read the guards to determine if it's a run or pass. So pulling a guard is a very effective way to get this backer to move, since you're showing an open gap for the pass rush and allowing a D lineman to come upfield unblocked, things you wouldn't do when passing. The problem is, Lakin Tomlinson doesn't block his guy, who is that unblocked lineman, so instead of Zach sitting in the pocket and hitting the tight end, he drifts back, which he does way too often, and the ball floats over his receiver's head. With all of this said, there are some slight signs of hope. Wilson has shown some flashes of great ball placement in zone coverage, which means he at times has a good understanding of the defense since zone is more challenging to read than man. However, he has put way more horrible, terrifying things on film thus far, and really for most of his year and a half career. In fact, last year he struggled most under pressure. When a free runner is coming or a lineman gets beat at the line, he does not have the willingness to stand in there and solve problems, nor take a hit to make the throw. When he's not reading out concepts on time, like when he misses his first read, he holds the ball too long, and creates his own pressure. Even when he's not pressured, he struggles to read simple and complex defensive rotations, which makes him late to make throws, and hanging over his head like a stench he can't unstink, the Jets coaching staff has not done him any favors. The future 
honestly is bleak for Zach Wilson. Things are even more amplified now that the Jets have one of the best defenses in the league, because now the Jets actually can win games, need to win games, and win them now. The stakes are higher, and he is under pressure. Now all he can do is hunker down, fix everything and anything outlined in this video, and turn his career around.